This time on Stay of Jailbreak, we go over the new iOS 5.0.2 and 5.1, as well as what is going on with the untethered jailbreak. Word is going around that Apple is preparing a pair of new software updates for the iPhone, iPod Touch, and iPad. 5.0.1 was supposed to fix all the battery life issues that people were having. However, obviously that was not the case, and it does look like Apple is going to give it another shot with 5.0.2. If you were having problems with battery life on your iOS 5 device, don't worry, it does look like the new iOS 5.0.2 should be slated to hit in the coming weeks. There also is a brand new iOS 5.1 update that is on the way. Now this is going to be a little bit more of a substantial update, and from what we've heard, it's going to largely consist of updates to Siri. Some of the supposed improvements to Siri include allowing it to open up your camera app, where, for example, you could say, take a video or take a picture, as well as giving it full access to system toggles, so you can tell it, turn off Wi-Fi or turn off Bluetooth iOS 5.1 is going to be a little bit farther out. It should be hitting in about a month or two. However, both it as well as 5.0.2 should be easily jailbreakable on all devices that currently do have a tethered jailbreak. Speaking of tethered jailbreaks, earlier this month, Pod2G announced on Twitter that he had found a way to get an untether on iOS 5. If you guys don't understand why it's been so long since we've had an untethered jailbreak, let me briefly explain. Back in iOS 4.3.4, .4, Apple added some new bits to iOS to make it much harder for untethered jailbreaks to actually be able to work. This certainly doesn't mean that they're impossible. However, compared to previous versions, it's going to take much more time, much more effort for the untethered jailbreaks to be developed. As always, if there are any new updates to the topics that I've discussed today, I'll have an annotation on the top left of the screen, which will link you to any new videos as far as new news, or of course, new jailbreaks. The tweak of the week is any lock app. This is a handy little add-on that allows you to add a shortcut to any app from your lock screen. Ordinarily, when you double tap the home button, it allows you to go to the camera app, but with any lock app installed, you can choose any app you like to show up instead. Any lock app is free for all iOS 5 devices. Anyway guys, it's going to be about it for this week's episode of State of Jailbreak. If you enjoyed, definitely be sure to leave this video a thumbs up. And if you're interested in keeping up to date with all the latest jailbreaking news, be sure to subscribe.